I think I get I got a question once about how how I decided to write a memoir, you know, in my twenties. And I thought that um there is still relatively little work published by queer indigenous people in this country. There are a lot of us working now, which is so exciting, but in the grand scheme of things, and when we take into account the the massiveness of the literary landscape, that um there's definitely an absence. And so to ask us to wait to write about our lives feels not only problematic, <laughs> but also, um, you know, detrimental to the fact that, you know, many, like as a, when I was, you know, a queer indigenous youth, um, I searched for representation and did not find it. Um, I found it, you know, in the makeshift ways in, art and literature and film about white gays but um you know i as and i detail this in the book the feeling that there wasn't even okay you know i had no vision of what a queer indigenous life could look like and so you know part of what we're doing i think um is building that foundation or that body of work um and so that's part of what compelled me to write i also there's not much I would, you know, prefer to do also. <laughs> <laughs>